And I guess we're live. Okay. I think. All right, well. So this is gonna be me working on my side project. Um, and yeah, I don't really have a script. I'm just gonna start doing stuff. Uh, and it's mostly for, well, just to kind of show people what I'm doing. People say, uh, oh, you know, what is, what are you doing? What is, what is game development? And, uh, well, it's this, it's a lot of this. And then people are finally going to see what it actually takes. And, uh, then they're going to see, oh, it's that. Uh, I'd rather just play them, but, um, eh. I don't know for any folks that actually, uh, who am I even talking to? All right. Um, what I'm going to do today. So this right here is what I have in my game so far. Uh, it's just walking around this house. So it's going to be like a 2D side-scroller game. It's going to be a lot more than that, but right now this is basically all it is. Um, not even much more than what you're seeing here, because I didn't really make any levels or anything. Um, but the next thing I was working on here, so I mean, there's a bit more than this. I mean, there's going to be jumping and, and fighting and stuff, but... Uh, but Kind of the next thing I want to do is, so we can run, it can jump, fall off ledges. Um, I want to be able to grab onto the ledge. And that's also something that's not supposed to happen. Uh, but normally, you would just be able to kind of grab onto this and, and kind of pull yourself up. But can't do that right now. That's what I'm going to try and work on now. And I have a kind of a strategy for that, which I think is going to be... Uh, when falling down, uh, where am I? Yeah. When falling down, then I want to try and do a couple of ray casts, like one like a bit above the character, and one like a little bit maybe like at his chest. And then as he's falling, if so, if both of them hit the wall, then okay, can't grab onto anything. He's too far below. If they're both above, then okay, and you don't grab onto the ledge, you're still kind of... Oh, why is it doing that? But then if if one of them doesn't hit the wall and one does, then you know, okay, you're coming up on a ledge, and then you can kind of just grab it. Um, that's, I think, a safe assumption. I guess we'll find out. Uh, and then after that, do more stuff. Um, then kind of go into the ledge grabbing animation and then which are, that I already have set up but um, then when he's grabbing the ledge kind of just we'll have a couple things you could do you could either just fall down or pull yourself up there's gonna be more but we'll just stick to that for now um, but let me just see if that's even a right assumption I can do so what I'm gonna do I'll go into my character controller here because he's a character the player controller is just these are just a couple of things unity already has character controller player controller classes but i kind of just made my own because uh, i don't like theirs i mean they're fine but for mine in particular um so i'll kind of just say character controller uh and then i want to add Well, I guess I want to add, like, about how far, I think it's just like a kind of a value for how far you could be away from the ledge to grab it, like an arm length or something. This is a whole bunch of stuff I got going on here. That, I'll just make it public because then I can set it in the editor. Um, we can just call it arm length. Eh. And let me say it's about half of a tile. The way I have it set up, one is about one one tile is one unit. So if he's doing that, then during update, let's see, jump. Okay, update. So okay, that's if he's grounded. If he's not grounded, we'll do. 
couple of ray casts. I guess I should probably expose a value for how high up and how far down, but I'll just kind of hard code something first. Um, and what am I doing? Uh, ray cast. And I'm going to let me just take a look because where is the actual? Uh -huh, there it is. Yeah. And this physics class is just kind of my own doing, which is why it doesn't work that well, but it works well enough to kind of collide with the tiles here because I'm not really using Unity's own tile system. I kind of got my own just to kind of have tiles that can be shaped all weirdness, weird slants and curves. Um, so I kind of had to write my own sort of collision for that, which was fun and not fun. Um, but then I have to do, resolve my own, kind of do my own raycast stuff too, just to kind of check if anything hits tiles, if they're shaped weirdly. Um, so, okay. I'll just be doing this, so... That'll return true if it did hit something, so I could say it takes in where you want to start from, the direction you want to cast and how far and then it will set this position to if it hits something it's gonna kind of resolve the collision and push back out um, and also return true so I'll just say I want to do a couple of those Because what I'm going to do for that, um, so what we want to do, we want to kind of cast one ray that's going to be kind of going the arm length in front. Well, I guess so. If he's facing right, it's going to be a positive. He's going to cast to the right by an arm length, so by like about that far. So we can kind of reach out that far. So I want to cast here and I want to cast like over here. And if this doesn't catch anything, but this does, that's kind of the case I'm looking for. Yeah, I think. Let's see how that works. I might want to move out where I want to cast them from height wise, but So we could say the starting position for the first cast is going to be uh, wherever his X is. And then like a little bit above, let's just say, if it's, if it's point two, uh, oops, position Y. That should be like about here. Eh, maybe let's make it a little bit more. These are hard coded. These will be changed anyway, but. Uh, I don't even like how I'm initializing these. So they're both going to actually be... to the right. Well, well left if... if he's facing... Yeah, okay. I, have, I actually have that. If facing left. <laughs> Okay. And 
and that should be a value copy, but if it's not, I'll deal with that later. Um, okay. So the idea is that if he's facing right, cast, like kind of do this, cast like that. So this should be the whole, the physics one. Yep. that's. So if we, if we do a cast forward and we hit a tile, well then that, then we, we don't want that, but because then it's like, oh, you're not, you're just hitting the wall. You're not hitting a ledge. Um, and so cast from your position facing the way you're facing. And as long as your arm is, oh, I gotta say ref. Cause it will change him. If the cast hits something. All right, so if we didn't hit anything, but we do hit the lower cast. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm hoping this ray cast thing even works. Sometimes it, it works well enough so I can, character can hit the wall and hit the ground and not fall through stuff. But uh, I have my doubts still because I wrote it. So... Oh, I never actually initialized position two. <laughs> Which is going to be... Kind of just going in the other direction. A little bit lower than his head. Than the top of him. Actually, what am I saying? Because the sprite is anchored at the bottom center, that's I'm actually saying that's where his feet is, so that's no good. I want to say... I want to cast it from, like, his head, but the sprite is anchored at his feet. Eh, that's annoying. I have to get, like, the height of the sprite. Um... Can I get that from the sprite parent, which is just a child object of the... That's the sprite render. But I think if I get the height of it, it gets it in pixels, not in world space. That's also kind of annoying. Um... Yeah, here, all right, for now. Let's just say he's this, because he's a little little taller than one tile. We'll actually grab this properly later. I just wanna get past this part. Okay. So rigid body position Y would be about here on him. Plus the character height should go here. And then we start it from a little bit above, a little bit below and casting out forward. All right, so in this case, let me just check if that even works. Uh, A quick thing I can do is to just say, eh, don't use gravity on him. Let's see if that, if the detection actually works properly. No, no, it doesn't. I don't think it did. Ah. <laughs> he kind of went through that, huh? Hmm. Oh, I see. 
Oh. It might have actually worked. It just it didn't stop his speed, so... <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Let me just stop him. Because I turned off gravity, but he still had his downward speed, so he kind of just kept drifting. Aha! That's what I wanted. Yeah, right about there, he would grab the ledge. Huh, I did a thing. Of course, he can still kind of move, yeah. <laughs> but... Alright, alright. I have the detection. At least that case, it worked. Uh, could I... Can I mess that up kind of weirdly? I bet I can. Okay, yeah, that's good, yeah. Ah. <laughs> I can't get out of the state, though, is the problem. Alright, well. So what I want to do here is actually reposition him so he's against the wall. Okay, and we know we can actually put his position... We just change his X, uh, which should be the result of this successful cast. When the cast is successful, it kind of slams against the tile and then should push out um, right up against the edge of the tile. So if we said, I don't think I can just assign directly to X. I think I have to assign a whole new right. So that should kind of adjust his X so that it's he's right up on the wall. I want to say. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he just kind of slammed into the wall. I gotta adjust his Y too, so that it's so that it is right. Uh, yeah, because I want to kind of bring him down a little bit. Um, and how I can do that. I gotta do one more ray cast. And I gotta do that because... So, this isn't quite right yet. Um... I need to find... I need to find the thinking. Yep, I'm de it's definitely not scripted. See, I'm thinking. It's boring, but hey, that's why it's. Uh, that is what game dev is thinking. Um, let me just make a couple more throwaway. Clean, I promise I'll clean this up later, said every programmer. Um, I want to start it from a little bit in the wall, so... So this is the result of the last ray cast that did hit the wall. It ended up setting him right to the edge against the tile. I want to go like right back in a little bit. Um, um, Yeah. 
So if he's facing left, then I want to then. Kind of just bring him and then he's facing the wall. So like you want to kind of go left by it just a tiny bit. This is even too much, but. Okay, and that's going down. And so the idea is we want to find basically like the corner of the ledge. Um, what we want to find is like when he's, we want to find like right the corner there. Yeah, I should get rid of this annoying cursor thing, but nope, that's not it. Yeah, okay, when I hold shift. I want to find the corner, so if I if I originate, if I put a ray cast starting here and like facing down, the collision system will push it out to get to the top of the surface. And then the idea is that it will be finding about this point and we'll just kind of We'll use the X that we got before when we pushed out to the side, and we'll use the Y that we get from this third ray cast that's like right at the floor here, and then we'll end up with something like this. And that's where we want to put the character. Well, that's where his hands want to be anyway. Um. Hmm. This should absolutely, we don't even need to check, this should absolutely work. Um, eh, I'll check anyway. Mm. This would really confuse me if this happened. I'm going to catch this. Because we should totally be inside a tile doing a ray cast. There, it should definitely hit something. And then the resolution of it. Um, thinking It's good to find that corner point like we just did, but uh, that isn't actually where we, where we want to put the character. And it's not because so he wants to be, let me just do that. Okay. All these are like event markers, by the way, that'll be for another day. I like to just turn them off and then hmm. so really he's still if he's in the ledge grabbing animation he should still be pivoted at his feet so I don't want to set his position to this because then his feet will be here and his head would be here and he's laying on the ledge awkwardly that's no good what I want to do is have his hands here his feet are here but he's still pivoted around the bottom, which means then if he lets go of the ledge, he can just fall. Um, if he, if anything else happens to him, like if he gets attacked or something and has to go into a damaged animation, then it's still pivoted around his feet. He's always going to be pivoted at his feet unless he's pulling himself up. Um, so... 
kind of want to actually bring them down a little bit. Yeah, maybe I'll kind of leave, just leave his position alone for now and just switch him over to the ledge grabbing state. Uh, I can do that with... Aha, uh -huh, the animation state thing. Oh, this is... Why does it look like this? <laughs> when I last saw this, it looked a little bit better, but... Okay. All right, we'll make do. Um... Yeah, okay. Right, so here's the hang state already. I already gave him that hang animation, which looks like... Duh. Oh. Hmm. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so he's kind of hanging like that. Nyom, nyom. And where's the pivot for it? Uh... I was hoping that the sprite area would show me the right frame, but it apparently not. Anyway, yeah, he's still pivoted around his feet. That's how he should be. So anyway, so what state can you go into that from? So from falling. I always want it to be from falling. You can go into hanging because you're falling and then you end up grabbing the ledge. And we're going to need like a trigger, probably an animation trigger. Um, so I will add one. Blap. Okay. And so you can go into that state. Uh, no, there's no. <laughs> if you got grab ledge, then you go. I forget if you want fixed duration or not. No, right? Or yes. No, I don't think it matters. Um... So pretty much uh, animator set trigger. So now he should look like he's actually grabbing the ledge. Let's see. Uh, 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 <laughs> well, what did I expect? Um, it looks like he's kind of grabbing onto the counter. Uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta set him the correct height. Um, so to do that. We can take this position that was returned to us and we just subtract the character's height. Which again, we should know once we actually find it and not hard code it. But, um, yeah. So we're going to do something like that. So this is the correct X. It's the one where he's like a little bit off the edge. Um, it's when the wall pushed us out, it pushed us to here, to this X. 
the the y value this is like where the floor is position 3.y but we don't want that because then again if we do watch what happens i'm just going to confirm what i think i already know i think he's going to be pushed up too far huh. Yep, yep, it's, it is as I feared. Because he's pivoted wrong. Or, well, he's pivoted the way I want him to, but that's just not the right Y value. I need to apply his height to this calculation. And then when I do that, well, it might not be exactly because I'm assuming his height. I'm just eyeballing it. So he should be close to grabbing the corner. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh. Just because I don't like the way that that is, uh, let me just change that. It's probably still not right, but... All right, uh, something, maybe good enough. Okay. So we sort of doing that. Now what we're gonna do, now that you're grabbing the ledge, uh, it's like, huh, now what? Yeah, I mean, well, we can we can press. Well, we want to press a button to get up. Uh, and I already made that get up animation. It looks like this. Uh... Huh. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm going to want to go to that. Do I already have a state for that? Yeah, I do. Okay. So that could really be, okay, like if you're hanging, we don't really have a... What, can we reuse a trigger here? Oh, input left or input right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So when he's hanging and facing right, yeah, if you input right, that'll work. If you input right, he'll just normally get up. But we also want to change his state. Uh, it's not state, change his position. Um, because it's not enough to just do this. I wish these were just defaulted to zero. Um, all right. So if you're not facing left and then you press so basically if you're facing right and input right of course we want to do it the reverse for the uh for facing left but then you would go into pull up That is what should happen. And then uh, it's not really going to... We didn't readjust his position, so it's going to look wonky, but... Huh. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. I don't know why that happened, but okay. So we're hanging. Yeah. Uh, okay, I never get him out of that state. I needed to up his Y. So he was too high before, because then I factored in the character height. I need to now change his Y position so that it's actually at the right spot. 
Yeah, so that's what I thought was going to happen. Mm. Right, here's where I'm telling the animator left or right. And what I actually really want to set his position to is pretty much this. So I just got to save it somewhere. I don't want to cludge it in here. That's not a great spot to put it. Because it's like I can check, oh, are you doing input left, input right? You are, but... Um, uh, I could maybe just use an animation event. Because otherwise over here I have to say, oh, are you hanging from the ledge? Like every update, no. I mean, it could be done, it's not great. Can add an animation event? Yes. Hmm. I'd have to add like an awkward callback just for pulling up from the ledge. Uh... But, yeah, all right, maybe, maybe. And I think it's got to be public if I... It's going to be... This is everything on player controller. And character controller. Oh, does it even let you do... It looks like it lets you do protected functions, too. And private? No. These are probably all public. Yeah, I think so. So that's what I'm going to... Um, I don't love it, but let's just see. Because I have to have a way to know that the, the code to know that the animation triggered... And aside from doing a gross check in here, I can just have a, a callback. Mm. Yeah, which means, of course, then um, I then have to store that position that I was that I wanted to use. Bleh. Yeah, well, you know, so it would be like hmm. make that just in case the player controller might need it. So, kind of dumb looking, but... Um... So basically save that position in case they, in, in case the player wants to pull himself up. 
then basically do this. Okay, uh, why did I lose that now? Pull up and the animation event, click. And we want to say on get up from ledge. Okay. So what I expect to happen is then he will go into the hanging animation we will save this position, which is the one that we want, and then it will get called from the animation event. Let's find out. <laughs> okay. And then... Uh, 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 hmm. I don't... Uh, I don't... Uh, <laughs> hmm. so moving to the right gave him some speed and now he's kind of going into the ground and then getting pushed back out and I guess perpetually <sighs> but wait a minute I mean the positioning looks right, aside from that rightward drift. Um, basically, I don't want him to move. I just want him to... I kind of just... I don't want him to move. I know there's a there's an easy way to just because I don't think the the inputs are totally coupled to the giving a speed. Let me just make sure that that's not uh, all right. This is for doing attacks, which are not part of this yet. Um, oh, it's because he's not grounded. Oh, uh, yeah. It's because he's not grounded. Oh, so this part. Uh... Yeah. Okay, set flow to the speed, but um, oh, probably hitting this if he's not grounded and the airspeed. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I want to kind of like disable his. thinking thinking I mean I could just add a flag to kind of just ignore speed temporarily and then I could just temporarily set his walk speed to nothing I don't want to do that cuz uh, uh, but basically just pushing right while he's hanging on the ledge is giving him speed and then uh, And basically, this update function doesn't it doesn't take into account what state he's in, and really, it shouldn't need to. It's pretty much just update his speed if he's walking or running. Hmm. Uh, 
Purr, 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 purr. But I don't see a better way to do it at the time, so... I mean, unless... Uh, I was gonna say I can I can take him out take the rigid body out of the simulation that would do it but eh. actually. Um. Uh. I was looking for a reference to the because that that's my rigid body wrapper. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't actually. Uh, I made it protected like a dummy. I wanted to say maybe take him out of the the physics simulation. That would mean his velocity wouldn't get updated. Would also mean like he wouldn't collide with anything. But while you're pulling yourself from to, from the ledge, I wouldn't want. Uh, Maybe I wouldn't want that necessarily. Maybe I would want him to still have a collision. Yeah, I hate doing this, but just for now. Um... <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 just a dumb name for the flag, but because then I have to turn this back off when he's done with the animation. But I mean, I could just put another animation event. I don't like how this is looking though, but. Pretty much. Hmm. All right, so we shouldn't be updating the velocity at all. Question is, when does this fire exactly? Does it fire in time? I fear that it might not. So he might still get that forward drift and then just not... Well, let's see. What could be the worst that could happen? Okay. Yeah, same thing happened, yeah. Mm -hmm. He just didn't go as far because... Well, I didn't like the solution anyway. So, let's just take it all out of there. Hmm. Actually...
Maybe that is what I want, but... Darn. <laughs> Um, but, it's just that when he grabs the ledge, then I set that flag. Okay. Alright. So now, as soon as he grabs the ledge, his speed is just not updated. At least the horizontal speed. Gravity would still apply, but I, I turned off his gravity too. So, the initial pressing right that makes him pull up shouldn't actually give him any speed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yet it does. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can like zoom um that's more or less how it should look <laughs> it's because this isn't really it doesn't seem to be having the effect that I it's not ignoring this does this override it nope Oh, this. Oh, right. Well, I, I could make an animation state behavior for this that says it overrides movement. Oh, I, I, that's right, I have that, that in place, but I... I don't want to make too many of them, but it might just be better than doing this. I mean, that kind of is what I made that for. Um, so... What animation state behaviors do I have? Uh, I think there's this is one of them. Hmm? Don't always show this dialogue. Right, this is the walking and running behavior, because the faster he's going, the, the faster the animation will play. That's basically what this is. I could make another one of these guys. Eh, maybe I should. And the only thing about this one would be, it would just mean... It overrides movement and then doesn't, you don't move at all. All right, yeah, let's stay at update. Okay. Yeah. And then if I just call it. Stationary. And it does that. Doesn't even need any of these. Oh, yeah. It's part of my namespace. Yeah, and then... The 
does override movement. Okay. And I can stick that on... So I believe the... Right, he has variable speed. This one would be... Stationary behavior. So, like, hopefully... This one also... So it should ignore... Right, then I want him to go from this to idle. And actually, it does have exit time, there's no transition. Exit time is at one. Play all the way through, okay. So I think just saying override movement is enough to stop our character controller from making it do things. Because the move left and move right... Right, if, if he has an animation state and it doesn't override movement, then do this movement calculation. So, D, let's see... Uh, floop. Floop. Eh. Eh. Well, now I can't, uh, now I can't get out of here. That's not right. Hmm. I mean, I want to say I should be getting into here. Now when I'm pressing right, nothing... Nothing does the things. <laughs> so really... Hmm. Should be getting in here, and I expected to be hitting this, but uh oh, I attached the debugger. I went back to the Unity editor, and uh... come back to me. Yeah, Visual Studio is okay, but Unity is having a problem. Oh, okay, all right, no, it's not. Hmm. It's not going into here. Oh, hmm. Oh, wait. Now it is. Uh, that's what it did. That's what it is. Okay, I see what's going on. It was indeed getting into... here. It's just, it was failing this check. Uh, why do I even buffer the movement this way? I kind of forgot, but... But basically... Because we weren't hitting this... It was also not setting... It wasn't even telling the controller that... Uh, Alright, which I, I guess...
Hmm. It wasn't even telling the controller that the player even was pressing the left or right button. Uh-huh. Uh... But we do want, we do want to know at least that much. We want to know that they're pressing left or right. So maybe if I just move this out. So we, like the controller at least knows that the player wants to, is pressing left or right so that the animator can know. I mean, unless we even split it out further, but. All right. Huh. Flump, and then huh. oh, ho, ho. <laughs> uh oh, what what is this? What is this? <laughs> uh, no, what's going on here? Uh, well, <laughs> oh, hmm. I, I turned off gravity, I never turned it back on. That's one thing. But when he went back to idle, hmm. Hmm. I almost had it, that looked pretty good. All right, I don't think I need this here. Uh, hmm. I'm close, but why did it do that? He went back to idle. Right, there's there was this business of doing the gravity like that. When really, I could just say that he's grounded. You could, you could count it as he's on the ground when he's grabbing the ledge. I mean, conceptually, it kind of makes sense. Uh, oh no, never mind. I can't set that. So I do have to just turn gravity back on or I could just make it so you can set the grounded flag, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather have the physics tell you that you're grounded or not. I could just have another animation event. It seems a little bit like a crutch, but I mean, could just do this. And then have the get up animation set it when it's done. I mean, can I have it as part of the transition? Uh, no, right? No, you can have conditions, but you can't. Okay. So, oh, where am I again? Oh, duh. Okay. Find the animation. Pull up, and then when it's done. No, 
Yes. No, d d d yeah, I think that's the right. Okay. Where is my brand new function I added? Uh... Oh. Hmm. No. Where? Where is it? Hmm. Hmm. Character controller, it's public. I don't even think it needs to be. Oh, oh, it's because it's... No. Uh, is it because it takes in a bull? No, I mean, these things take in floats. They're fine. Does this make any difference? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that didn't compile. Yeah, there it is. Apply gravity. So... Oof. So did, did that just derp it? Hmm. Can it do it now? Apparently. Apparently you can't have a bull. Fine. Fine. Alright. Whatever. <sighs> Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So when the animation's done, gravity goes back on. That's basically what. Huh? Where to go? Yep. Okay. Let's -a go. And uh, <laughs> uh, well, hmm. Hmm. why did he fall and then land here? <laughs> and also, why can't I move now? I have a confusion. Uh... Hmm. So, okay, he fell. I mean, he should have been on the ground, though. So I didn't push him over the ledge enough. I didn't put him here. I put him, I guess, over the here, and he just fell. I don't know what he landed on. Um, and I can't do anything. My inputs are gone. Why? Hmm. Well, that's not great. Um, let, me, let me attach the debugger again. Let me see exactly what's going on here. I should at least have... I should at least be able to have my inputs do stuff, but if it's kind of got stuck with that animation state behavior stuck on him, that's not great.
Okay, so I, I, I hit the right key. Just trying to move right. Right. It's also not the greatest example. I mean, he's against the wall. Let me try to move left. Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. Yep, left. Mm -hmm. Oh, he should be grounded. I don't know why he says he's not. And use gravity false. Huh. Oh, because it maybe it thought he grabbed the ledge again, but he's in idle state, so you can't go from idle to ledge hang, so he just kind of did that. That's what happened. Uh huh. Yeah. That's. Duh. Kind of explains it. So he's, he's in the ledge hang state, but he just. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well. One thing that can solve that is... One thing that can solve that is... What am I looking for? Where's the... Yeah. I can kind of push him a little bit over the edge. Uh, it, it's not, it's not great, but this is what's the problem is his X position. He needs to go just a smidge. Um, so basically, pretty much do like what like I did with that, like. Just nudge him if he's facing left or right. Oh, darn, I didn't stop the game and I was gonna try and recompile the script at runtime. I, I don't trust it, so let me just restart the whole thing. Mm hmm, and then, er. Uh huh. Ugh, but but why this? <laughs> uh. So so that's strange. <laughs> Something got kind of messed up. Hmm. Flump. One. That's yeah. That's that's not quite right. But and then that's also not quite right. Huh. <laughs> 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 He's in idle. Uh huh. All oh, that looks right. I don't know. There's some more. There, there's some. I got a little bit more work to do, but. But, I mean, at least this much works. There are some things to work out about it, but he grabs the ledge. I gotta just smoothen it out a little bit. But I think I'll end it here, because uh, that's enough for now. Alright. That's all for now. I might just clean some stuff up. Uh, I might do that off camera, since it's probably not that exciting, but eh, who am I kidding? None of this is really that exciting. But, uh, 
But yeah. Alright, until next time. <laughs>